हेलो एवरीवन एंड नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिजियो ट्रेंड्स दिस इज द फिजियो क्वेस्ट सीरीज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आंसर्स फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर 24 एंड 25 व्हिच वर आस्क्ड ड्यूरिंग दिस वीक थर्सडे एंड सैटरडे सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर 24 व्हिच गोस समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट न्यूरोलॉजिकल टेस्टिंग अ पेशेंट इज हैविंग डिफिकल्टी इन सेंसिंग वाइब्रेशन स्टिमुली so which of the following joint receptor is most likely affected now this is a kind of direct as well as indirect question and very easy to interpret if you know which stimuli or which receptors are present where and what is their role so now in this the options given are that uh, pacinian corpuscles golgi mazoni corpuscles ruffini endings and free nerve endings now looking at the option one option we can directly eliminate which is your free nerve endings because free nerve endings have nothing to do with your vibrations they just directly deal with the pain touch and temperature remaining three we will see the ruffini ending thing so ruffini endings again are there they are present in the deep layer of the skin as well as the superficial uh, hairy skin and their main role is to detect stretching around the joint it is not basically related to your vibration but it is more towards the stretching kind of force so that is why that option also we can eliminate easily then the next option is golgi mazoni corpuscles now this receptors basically are also present around the joints but they deal with the compressions on the joints so that is why mazoni corpuscles are also not the correct answers but if we want to deal with the vibrations especially we have to go with the corpuscles so that is why answer a option a is going to be the correct answer for this question and i am very glad that all of you almost all of you have got it correct so kudos to you for that very Now, nice moving forward to the next question asked in this week saturday is question number 25 which goes something like that a physiotherapist is examining an afo uh which could improve the gait of someone with spasticity of the gastrocnemius and soleus complex on the right side so basically calf muscle spasticity is present on the right side now the spasticity is preventing proper application of the afo so the best method to temporarily reduce spasticity allowing proper application of the afo is option a hot pack to calf for 15 minutes ice pack to calf for 20 minutes continuous ultrasound using 1 megahertz at 1.5 watt per centimeter square for 8 minutes and vepo coolant spray now guys this a uh, question also we can easily eliminate option d because vepo coolant spray has nothing to do with your relieving of the spasticity it is just superficial application it can give some reduction in the pain but it is not going to change the spasticity at all so that is why option d we can easily eliminate remaining options option c says that using the ultrasound continuously but we know that calf muscle area is very big right so in this much big area we require ultrasonic head also this much like according to the criteria like ultrasound has to be uh, half of the size the area which you want to treat so that much big ultrasound head we are not going to get plus giving the ultrasound therapy to this much big area for continuously again it is not going to transfer the heat at all and again it is not going to help for the spasticity as well so this option also eliminated remaining option option b ice pack to calf for 20 minutes now we sometimes think that why to give ice pack because we have seen that we give ice pack to the patients to improve the muscle contractions sometimes whenever the flaccid stage is there but that icing is given quick icing so if you are giving quick icing we can increase the muscle tone but if you are giving icing for continuously minimum 20 minutes we can work on the first of all we can work on the pain gate theory we can reduce the pain for the patient and because of that again uh, we can reduce the muscle tone and signals which are uh, coming from the autonomic nervous system as well as central nervous system to cause the muscle tightness that also will be reduced for next 30 to 40 minutes and because of that we can easily fit on the afo for the patient another option left is hot pack for the calf for the 15 minutes hot pack actually doesn't work well with the spasticity but they goes well with the spasm and there is a vast difference between spasm and spasticity spasm is something which comes because of over activity 
and that can be treated very nicely with the help of hot pack but when it comes to spasticity this hot pack is never going to help us maybe because of hot pack we can increase the spasticity but not reduce it so that is why that option is also wrong and that is why in this question option b is correct which is giving icing for 20 minutes continuous for the patient so guys i hope you have understood the answers and also reasoning behind that if you still have any questions any doubts please feel free to write in the comment section thank you so much for being here on the physio quest series